I love the taste of bread, John 6 verse 48. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. John 6 verse 48. We have all seen examples of puppy love or the uncertainty of childhood romance. She loves me, she loves me not, she loves me, she loves me not, a young lover seeks some assurance about some heartthrob. Not willing to take no for an answer, he reaches for another flower and keeps pulling the petals until he is pleased with the result. That is how we play at loving. Man's love is feeble. Man's love is mixed with many ill-defined motives. One half of all marriages end in divorce as an awful witness to either the weakness or the warp of man's love. Humans often use love as a weapon or a tool. Man's love is conditional. We love those who either like us or are like us. Some hoard their love like gold or their last morsels of bread in a concentration camp. Someone has to be very special before they break off a piece and share it. Our love has its limits. There is only so much of it to go around. We do not have to wonder about God's love. He loves us. His love is not puppy love, infatuation, or romance. God's love is deep, God's love is sincere, God's love is certain. God's love is everlasting and forever. We have but to stand at the foot of Mount Calvary and gaze at the cross to see the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height of God's love, Ephesians 3 verse 18. God's love is a love that will never not love us. Once we know God's love, once we have tasted its sweetness, once we experience its vastness and are assured of our access to its inexhaustible supply, we are not afraid to share it. There is plenty for you, and there is plenty for me. When I see the bread on the table, I am reminded of God's love. I am reminded that God loves me. We are just like the beggar telling another beggar where they can get bread. No one need go hungry for love in this world. God is love. ID